All right, and here's Joe with no more days like today for the foreseeable future. Well, I'm looking at the record books right now, and we have never hit 70 degrees uh, in Elmira in the month of December before. Wow. An official high today, 69. So we've tied the all-time record high for the month of December. It's unofficial until later on tonight. We'll see whether or not at the airport they actually hit 70 degrees between observing hours. And if that were the case, then it's a new all-time December high temperature. Okay. All right, we'll get into the forecast now. Back to reality, I'm afraid, as we go through tonight with a cold front passing through. Uh, this after that record-breaking day today. Showers likely tonight already pushing into western section of our viewing area right now. And much colder temperatures for tomorrow, but uh, pretty typical for this time of year with readings in the 30s. Weather maps tonight showing, well, that warm front still to our north, but the cold front will be pushing through overnight tonight. And then for tomorrow, the colder air pushing over the uh, Great Lakes could give us a flurry or snow shower tomorrow afternoon. No accumulations, though, expected. There's the rain knocking on our doorstep right now, looking at several hours of rain going through the overnight period, looking at about uh, a quarter of an inch of rain, so nothing too terribly heavy as we go through tonight. But uh, if you're stepping out, you may want to bring along that umbrella. It's already pushing into the Hornell area right now, and it'll continue to overspread the rest of the viewing area as we progress through the evening hours. 63 right now in Elmira, still 61 in Bradford, but notice it cooled off a little bit back towards the west, but you really have to head west of the Great Lakes to get into the colder air, and that will be arriving locally here in the Twin Tiers tomorrow afternoon. 59 in Camp Bell, 60 the current temperature over at Howard, 57 in Spencer and Tawanda currently at 61 degrees. So our 24 hour planner showing occasional showers overnight tonight at midnight. We're at 49. That'll be our high temperature for the day tomorrow. And then as we go through the afternoon, temperatures drop down through the 30s and there's the chance for a late day snow shower. Future track is showing that rain showers though for tonight with temperatures staying well above the freezing mark. Now, as we go through the day tomorrow, 10 o'clock in the morning, partly sunny skies giving way to some clouds and the chance for a flurry or snow shower. Again, no accumulations expected locally. Then a clearing trend as we go through tomorrow evening with high pressure pushing in. So Thursday, not a bad day. Temperatures will be seasonably cool with highs in the lower 40s, but at least we'll have the sunshine out there. And then it looks like more clouds heading our way late Thursday night, especially into Friday. Looks like an unsettled period settling in as we go through the weekend. Five degree guarantee for today forecast high temperature 67. Our unofficial high 69 degrees forecast for the rest of tonight. We are looking at 39 tonight in Ithaca and in Watkins Glen. Occasional rain showers out there 40 in Elmira. Forecasting 39 in Corning and for the northern tier, showers also likely there are 40 right now, or the overnight low in Mansfield and 41 over towards Sayre. Interactive Sky Tracker 7 day outlook is showing 49 tomorrow, but temperatures dropping as we go through the afternoon hours. And then as we look at the rest of the forecast there, temperatures, uh, well, seasonably cool, but uh, not all that bad going through the weekend. Yes, we are forecasting mm -hmm. rain, but with temperatures coming back up to the 40s, it'll be rain and not snow. All right, I'll take it. Thank you very much, Joe.